Hello there. Hello. <laughs> Welcome back to another ATN podcast. Um, we're here in our new uh, news news studio. Now yeah, we finally uh, got we the money a, on YouTube. We, we bought this place windows. and a pickle. We got hype. That's what he <laughs> looks like in real life too. That's what he looks <laughs> like in real life. We've yeah. way out. more buff. I've seen him. Yeah, pictures on. Uh, it's out there. It's on the uh, the interwebs. It's out there. I've seen him. The interwebs. <laughs> All right, well, welcome back for another podcast. So we got a couple of topics that we're going to talk about today. Most, well, not most notably, not like that's the best thing ever. But what? If you take off those sunglasses, it would be a nude picture of hype. (laughs) Yeah, that's actually true. Now we know. See my pickly, veiny throbbiness. God take it. Oh boy. That's something. All right. Well, that's for another. I don't know what to say to that. That's for another podcast. That's the podcast after dark. <laughs> yeah, the after dark uncensored. After dark. Oh boy. All right. Well, our first topic. Well, I guess it's actually two together, <clears throat> considering they're the same thing. But um, Verizon and Amazon. So Amazon, I think theirs is actually out right now. Uh, from when I last looked. Um, so Amazon and Verizon were both creating uh, cloud gaming services. I don't know how convenient that's going to be. Uh, so Amazon's... What? I call it the future of technology. The, the future. <laughs> I remember PlayStation was trying to do that. I remember PlayStation was doing that. I think it's only on smart TVs, though. I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, well, Sony's behind. Yeah, you know. Hey, you know what? They're not, okay? They made a VR headset, and they have two whole games, okay? So back Ooh. off. All right. I'm going to wait for VR to come out in like 15 years when it actually works. 15 years. And then I'll probably look into VR. Yeah, when it's not a gimmick. Yeah, yeah. you know. Like the Xbox One Connect. We all know that, <laughs> right? Yeah. Amazon's, so uh, I believe too. theirs is actually out. Um, I think theirs is out right now. And so I was reading before, and it said somewhere that they have one out for testing on Androids. So I guess it's going to be for mobile phones as well, not just desktops. Uh, but oh, yeah, but they have that. So Verizon, theirs just kind of like came out of nowhere. Like I didn't even see that one even coming. David? Wait, what? Okay, never mind. <laughs> that was your cue what for I the do? joke. Never mind. Okay. Never mind. Oh, that's what she said? Yeah, that's what she said. there we go. Oh, ah, no, no, no. There we go. We'll splice that in. We'll edit it. You, you, <laughs> you lose. Right. Right. He's not on it tonight. Some things he's, de- he's depressed. I'm depressed. Yeah, you know. We have Verizon's trying to come out with a gaming service. Like I have any clue what <laughs> that is. Depressed. I'm a little depressed, too. <laughs> what, you guys don't own Still phones? Still a little bit. Do you guys not have phones? Yeah, you guys that, all have phones. Phone, right? <laughs> yeah. Do we need to go over what Diablo was, Immortal? Oh, no. No. What, what game was that again? No. What game no. was that? Diablo Immortal. I just oh, it's okay. not even a game. It's a cash grab. <sighs> you know, to be fair, I feel bad for that guy who had to announce that game because Blizzard set that guy up to die on stage. So. Yeah. I mean, I mean like, we don't want to announce this crappy game. You do it. All right. So what? What is? Uh, what's your guys' take though on the cloud gaming services? Like, I know you've tried it, Nathan. Have you? Have yeah, you tried it before, from- hype? Okay. From what I've played of the GeForce NVIDIA experience, yeah, I like it a lot. It's just, for some reason on my computer, it doesn't want to run as smoothly as like other computers. Mm-hmm. Like, literally, you could play it on your like your crappy $500 laptop, and it would run better on there than my whole desktop setup. Yeah. It's weird. I, I don't know if it's just my internet. But what's weird is my brother, he used it on his uh, Steam box one mm-hmm. time, and it ran just fine. And oh, then yeah, I tried it on they mine, have the and it's video. crap. So, and we're on the same internet, so it just, hmm. I don't know, it doesn't make sense. But I liked it. I thought it was neat. Yeah. Uh, the only complaint I had about it was you can tell that when you're playing, you are streaming a game. It dips in quality, so yeah. It does dip in quality here and there. But, like, I think it just depends mm. on the computer you're playing on. Like, some computers yeah. can handle it better than others. So, but, I yeah. mean, really, it's not even your computer. You just have to have a really good internet. Well, I've yeah, and I, I've only tried two. I tried because um, GeForce that one we we got into the what was it, it was the closed beta for that. I still yeah, have it, so it still runs. Same. I'll I'll run it on my laptop in the kitchen on Wi-Fi, and so we have five gigahertz like uh, Wi-Fi, uh, but my laptop 
I can run it totally fine. It will dip like here and there if it's just a bad day. Uh, but on Wi-Fi, it runs, it runs fine. And that one's free if you're in the closed beta. The only other one I have tried is, uh, it was called Vortex Cloud Gaming. And that one, they have an app on the Windows Store you can get for it. And uh, that one was $10 a month. That one was actually worse. That one's worse because I don't know how big the company is, how great the servers were. But I remember I tried it. That was when I was living with you guys. That's what, yeah, that was when I was living with you guys. And you had your computer running? <laughs> yeah, it, it worked. It was like terrible on the desktop. But they had an Android app and it worked flawless. I remember I was playing League and it even had touch controls. I was playing League of Legends. Um, it was the bots though, but it was fun to just like play like on a phone. Like, where do you guys like think that's gonna be? Maybe like in the next year, you think that's gonna be something that's even popular, or you think it's something that's just gonna die out? It's kind of a phase. What do you think? The cloud streaming thing is gonna yeah. get bigger. We think it's gonna get bigger. Yeah, once um, once people realize that you know it's much easier to just pay a little bit higher internet bill than it is to mm -hmm. build, you know, a $3,000 gaming PC. <clears throat> yeah, for yeah. sure. <laughs> I was going to mention that. You know, it's going to be, it's going to be the, th uh, like the big oh, yeah. thing. Uh, the issue right now is, especially if you live in the U S your internet sucks. Yes. <laughs> uh, so it's just, it's not very stable. I would also probably guess that there's not, as big of a market for it right now as they would like, so they're not putting as much money into you know into faster, more stable servers yeah. as they probably should. So at a certain point, it'll really take off. They'll start seeing money from it. They'll start, which means they'll start investing more money into it. And yeah, yeah. It'll just become this great thing, you know. Go ahead, go to Walmart, buy a six hundred dollar. <laughs> yeah, you can play these games. You I know, know the. Oh, go ahead. I was gonna say like in the future they're gonna have like specs for what you need like requirements to run a game and it's just gonna say underneath the specs good internet connection because <laughs> if you have a streaming <laughs> service that's all you're Basically. gonna need you're not gonna need all these you know graphics cards and stuff it starts to set off so yeah uh our next one actually since we're still on the uh topic of uh well i guess all of it technically is on the topic of games <laughs> but it's uh what steam <laughs> i was like trying to think for a second like, wait, wait all of this is really games <laughs> uh steam has now has thirty thousand games Woo. but the question is how many of those are actually good and how many of them 15. are crap 15 that are good mm -hmm. oh i would exactly. agree with that that sounds like a decent number to me what do you think nathan there's only one good game what's that and you don't just mount your friends a. <laughs> that's a great game. Yeah. How many good games are on Steam? That is, that's, should be number one slot. I suck at that game. So that bad. is a great game. Oh, man. You good. suck at that game on a computer. Uh, good life. memories. Ooh, Ooh life, dominate. I, like <laughs> I am like pro, pro level at that. <laughs> turn, your, uh, turn your back for two seconds. Mount it. Ooh. Yeah, mount, it's like playing Leapfrog illegally. <laughs> what i do <laughs> go behind strangers and when they turn their backs like mount mount wait mount. is it just friends though sometimes you just okay. said strangers how are you gonna be friends with strangers yeah i mean get out of here you could they give me candy let's get them gang yeah they're they're my friends all right they give me candy nice okay friends. okay we're gonna have to talk <laughs> after this is over watching this guy I don't know about this. Uh, First, we go from mounting strangers to Caleb thinking everyone's his friend. Wait, uh, they're not? It's okay, but I have a lot of things to learn. <laughs> All right, so everything. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's not even including DLC for the 30,000 games. That's just all those games. Seeing that this is such a large number and Steam is a uh I guess kind of the number one platform for distributing in oh, yeah. indie Steam games. Dominates. 
Do you think that that is actually a concerning, uh, like an alarming number though? When you see the 30,000 line, do you think that is, I guess, kind of showing that there is a problem with all these crap games on Steam or what? To an extent, yeah, but mm. I mean, the figure is kind of meaningless overall. It's, it's literally just like, hey, we've been at it a while. Yeah, I mean, it's, okay. it's, it's not like Valve has put out 30,000 games. You yeah, know, it's just, yeah. I mean, well, it's just funny to see that there's 30,000 games and the client's still crap. Yeah. <laughs> like, what yeah. I just, but I, apparently there's supposed to be some big changes coming to the Steam client this next Believe year. it when I see it! Talking about, that was reading up on. Uh, they didn't really say much, but yeah, I just I was told there was supposed to be huh. some huge changes coming, so. Um, where are your sources? This is a uh, legit news station too, okay? We can't just be throwing those things around. We need sources. Yeah, yeah. picture All, right. All right. I'm looking it up. I'm New looking it valve up. Valve Steam changes. Let's see if he actually knows his stuff. Right, amateur. 2019. Right. There we go. Valve announces eight changes coming <laughs> to Steam in 2019. Read them up. So, the first one. Crap, you <laughs> <He> closed it. <laughs> Ad yeah. Oh, okay, you're right. I thought you closed it. Store <clears throat> discoverability. Steam China. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, boy. Steam library update. New event systems. Steam I think. TV, <laughs> Steam chat. Steam trust. And Steam PC cafe program. All of that sounds retarded. Also, to use. So one of them is we're going to officially ship a new PC cafe program so that players can have a good experience using Steam and hundreds of thousands of PC cafes worldwide. So they basically okay. want to have their own land centers. <laughs> uh. Cool, they can't even handle their own client. How are they going to handle a Lancer? <laughs> Dude, Steam China's coming. This is big news. Can we read you lock Steam uh, China store? <laughs> yeah, I don't, think it. <laughs> I don't think it'll be long before China just bans Steam at the rate that they're banning other games yeah. and things now. They oh, banned yeah, like every like game. Yeah, Wasn't I wouldn't it? consider that even... Didn't they ban thing? League too? <sighs> they're getting there. Because I know it was Fortnite. That was like one of the biggest ones, which, thank God. Yeah, they're they're, they're smart. Any. China's smart. They actually have good league, pro league teams. <clears throat> yeah. I don't know. But. I mean, it'd be a pretty yeah. big deal if they did. Yeah. Be like, <clears throat> be like us banning fucking soccer. Like, no, you can't play soccer in America anymore. What? <laughs> well, I mean, this is America. Okay, we play football. No, the rest of the world plays football. Oh, we play uh, pigs. Nathan? Nathan's uh, muted. What's up? Hi. I saw you moving your lips, but I couldn't hear you. Yeah, I... Did you censor yourself? Yeah, I had to censor myself. Okay. <laughs> a... Re... You're about... I heard You're about of... Ragey. I heard of Steam China, and I'm like, I gotta go. Ah! <laughs> With the Steam client being 30,000 games, um, it's a, definitely a record, that's for sure, for them. I don't know yeah. if it's a good one or not. I was gonna say, but... I don't know if it's good or not, but it's a record. Yeah. 30,000 games, that's a lot. You, you, it's weird to see how far games have come, though. Yeah. And how many games have been developed over the years, you know. Mm. So, I'm Maybe. just glad they're not doing the mobile market like Blizzard's trying to do. Oh, God. The mobile market? Don't give them ideas that they already have. <laughs> Steam's listening in on right now. They're like, dude, write They've this down. Write this down. Mobile app. It's <laughs> inevitable. Watch, it's going to be my fault. They're going to make, like, a bunch of mobile games. Oh, boy. That would suck. Everybody check you the like news tomorrow. CS Go. How about new mobile CS on the go? Yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, this is awful. I know that Sony, they were going to make their own. They were going to make like another PSP coming out. No. About. Their last Stop one it. failed. You're, unless your company starts and ends with the word Nintendo, you don't have a chance in the handheld market. Yeah. Just stop. We're their last trying. good one was the PSP. Yeah. Hey, I've always wanted to play, um, uh, what's that game on the go? Not Mount Your Friends. Mount Your Friends on the go. <laughs> actually would be good, though. <laughs> now you I can mount actually... your friends anywhere. 
realistically, <laughs> yeah. you could probably make that work. You could probably just do it on your phone, really. I'd rather just That's play Minecraft on yeah. your phone. Mount your friends on your phone would totally work. I'm not about to see if there's an app. <laughs> yeah. Downloading as we speak. Mm. Oh god, I opened Google, why? By the way, I wanted to get huh. to they don't the have it. World of Warcraft's Dang. tribute to Stan Lee. How'd you know that was going to be the next topic? How did you? That was pretty cool. How did you freaking know? Cool. How'd you know, know that? I'm kind of good like that. You know, I just guessed. Just really professional. Good. I'm kind of professional. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Did you have that on your screen or no? You yeah, I got it. Right. Right. Oh, okay. You want to uh, yeah, take so, the reins on this one? Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> World of Warcraft or Blizzard, they added a tribute to Stan Lee. And uh, so basically, it's this. That is character awesome. model in the game looking like Stan Lee and he walks around Stormwind. That is a great picture. Uh, his name is Stan Lee. Like Stan Lee. Like it's like one word, you know, there's Stan Lee. Oh, but they couldn't have put cool. Stan Lee. He but... looks just like him too. That, that's what makes it pretty neat. But it's kind of sad good. to see it, you know, but it, it's, it's a really neat <clears throat> tribute, I think. I like how he still has the sunglasses. Yeah. It's awesome. <laughs> still got the sunglasses. That's good. I, I think it's a good little tribute. Um, mm. It's pretty fun. I'm glad Blizzard did that. I think it's yeah. kind of neat. I wish they would do more stuff like that, tribute mm. people and stuff that were important to <clears throat> their nerdy side of the world. He's been like such just a huge icon. Like I don't think that nerd culture. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I don't think that, uh, especially I mean, continue with Marvel films from now on. Definitely, like something is going to be done, and I don't think that's like going to be anything that's going to stop in the new future. Yeah, um, it's just going to be sad in the future when. All these new Marvel films are coming out, and you're not going to see them anymore. So, do you think that they, they might do something like uh, what was it, Fast and the Furious, where they did like the artificially like generated dude? Was it Paul Walker? Do you think they'll probably do something like that for Stanley, like CGI, or do you think that they would just do, you know, Easter eggs? Because I would rather have the Easter eggs. That would be better. I feel like. I I didn't even know they did an artificial thing for Paul Walker. Yes. Uh, they did. That's yeah. Yeah, it, well, cause, so they had his uh, his brother, but they took, like, images from the actual dude, and then so they, like, CGI'd it, like, on his face. So really? They, yeah, so they did that. That's what they did for the last scene of the movie. So, huh. I honestly think that that would be weird <laughs> if they did that Fast for Stanley. died for me at, like, the third movie, so I didn't keep up. Yeah, I watched, like, the first couple, and that was, like, it. <laughs> Like Fast and Furious, <laughs> Tokyo, yeah. Canadian Drift. Oh I mean, God. you can only see people spinning I'm around done. circles and like fighting and whatnot, like so many times. Yeah. <laughs> like I get, well, I get bored with like, you know, movies or games that have just cars, like when it's just driving. Mm -hmm. So what yeah, do you, what do you think? Hype? Do you think it'd be weird if they did like CG or? Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, it'd be super weird. Yeah. <laughs> Like, yeah, I, it, it would just be odd. Like you could tell it's fake, and like we've gotten to like photorealism for you know wh whether it's like Photoshop or something, or I mean even in games when it comes to, like stills, when you see something coming like in motion, I, I feel like we've gotten great at animating, but we haven't gotten to that point where it anime? looks it, anime. <laughs> like it just hasn't gotten totally realistic where it's just passable. Like you could just believe it. So. Yeah, it would just come yeah. off like jarring, just like odd. You could just tell it's fake. Spinning slash so, tower. Speaking Spinning of fake, tower. Nathan Smith. No, I'm just kidding. Hello. Uh, <laughs> hello. So our last uh, topic that we have, though, is on uh, Metro. Metro Exodus. So Ooh. they came up with the trailer uh, not too long ago. Uh, not too long ago, meaning like a week ago, I think it was. Uh, but they did come out with a new... Um, trailer that they had, which is story trailer. So, uh, did any of you guys play the Metro games? I, I know. Well, I know you did. I Nathan. played through the first, the first one, and then I played the beginning of the second one, the Metro Last Light. And okay, I didn't play all the way through. The first one was awesome. Really loved <laughs> the game. Um, I barely ran it back when I had my fifty-seven seventy graphics card taken to school, because <laughs> that card was a beast. And I shouldn't have even been running it on my PC because uh, I didn't have enough battery to support it. So my PC actually died on me like a year in. But nice. I did get to play through it. And it, it ran it like a boss. And it was a cool game. I, I enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. Uh, it's very... You can tell that it's like very... Because it's like set in Russia. 
Mm. So it's very, um, you know, very like monsters in Russia, monsters eat you, you know, <laughs> like it's just that yeah. kind of theme. And it's cool. What they do it everywhere else. Yeah, that's true. Oh yeah, it's true. Huh? I... Yeah. In Russia, this is why I don't say Russian quotes. <laughs> <laughs> no, you were on a roll. Go ahead. Start oh, over. Man. I just said. <laughs> I got you. I got you. <laughs> Did you ever play them, hype uh, or no? Yeah, uh, okay. the first one. I haven't played the second one yet. I have it. I just haven't played it yet. Okay. Yeah, thank you. So, I have the game. I just haven't played it either. Do you remember what the uh, the first one is about, though? Uh, if you can like like summarize it, like. Basic summarization. Was that about Ar Artyom or whatever his name is? Artyom. Post-apocalyptic yeah. shit went down. Yes. Mm -hmm. You're in yeah, Moscow. You had to do some shit to not become part of the shit. All right. Yeah. That's actually a good summary. That is a good summary. That's a great summary. Because <laughs> all I remember in the, in the second one, it just kind of seems similar to the first. Uh, so coming into Exodus, though... Um, it's mostly like open world is what I heard, but it's more of like instances where you kind of go into the level and you explore this vast uh, area. And so you do like your questing, your normal stuff you would do in a uh, open world game. But it's uh, like I said, you go in, it's just like open area and then you leave and then you go to another level and you kind of just repeat the same thing over again. Um, how, how much freedom do you actually have in these instances? Does it, does it, does it tell you? Um, I mean, I'm thinking it's probably going to be, you mean like as in how wide the map is? Yeah. So like each little event you're going to go mm. into, I guess there's going to be only so much you can reach around the map, right? Explore yeah. And whatnot. Yeah. I'm kind of, I'm, I'm, a, I'm assuming it's going to be, yeah, like Borderlands. That's what I'm assuming. Where you go in kind of and then like loads into the next scene and then you'll explore that open area and then, you know, leave and then do the same thing to another level. That's what okay. I'm thinking. Um, that's what I've heard. What I've, I've uh, listened to on different uh, gaming videos or articles. So The game looks uh, beautiful, by the way. The oh, graphics. yeah. It's giving me a uh, lot of, that... uh, what is it, um, Mad Max vibes. Yes. Hmm. This company's very known for a pretty game, so this game's gonna look really nice. Yeah, the lighting's really nice. Uh, but yeah, this one it's uh, so you're actually leaving Moscow. So I, I think you're still you're you're still in Russia, but you're leaving Moscow, and you're kind of exploring the outside terrain. So what I've heard in this one is, so like in the first games, you had to have gas mask on like all times you had to watch like your your rads um your oxygen and all that and this one you actually like you can see in the trailer too they don't uh no hardly anybody has gas masks on uh you don't you don't need it can we and so here? can hmm. we say that every single post-apocalyptic video game is set in russia like why seems like it oh no. especially zombie games seems like it <laughs> there are a lot of them but I mean, technically, like the most of was post-apocalyptic, and that wasn't set in Russia. Yeah, that's true. Russia is listening right now. They're like, he's on to us. <laughs> <laughs> Crap, he knows things. He's on to us. In <laughs> Russia, Nathan doesn't know how to do Russian things. That works? <laughs> I think. I don't know. I'm going to stop. That was good. Thank you. So, God dang it. All right. So, in this one, um, like I said, <laughs> so this one, you're, you're leaving Moscow, <clears throat> like I said. Uh, so, you don't even have to, like, wear your gas mask. And I guess there are uh, sandstorms, uh, which kind of give me, like, that Hidalgo kind of uh, Hidalgo. feeling with it, too, which is a good movie. I watched that one a long time. Uh, but, yeah. So, I guess they have different weapons in here. I don't know if they had... Didn't they have a little crossbow in the other I games? Think so. I believe they did. Crossbow? Because I remember hearing that's what they I had. I remember in this Crossbow one. in the second one, not the first one. I think it was the second one. Uh, but they, I'm assuming they brought it back then, because if they did have it, it's in this too. So, uh, but I guess they have different, like you can see in the trailer, they have like three different, I guess there was like a play test. And so they have three different maps, which was uh, this foresty place, a desert place, and a snow map. So it's kind of a little versatile when it comes to the, um, the terrain. That you'll be able to see in this game All so right. it's not just gonna be like one kind of setting you know like desert the They're whole not time gonna randomly ship you to space 
actually what they're going to do is they're going to have like a map select. And so you go in and then uh, one of them is going to be crap. And so they're going to take away the map select though. So you're forced to play that level even though you don't want to. <laughs> so they're the first company to do that. <laughs> I don't even, I still don't understand. I don't understand. Oh, man. All is dumb. Yeah. Well, I guess since we're on the topic, I mean, I guess we'll add that to the podcast too. Because uh, I was watching a uh, Jack Frags uh, video not too long ago, and he did a review or kind of like a recap on a year mark from from PUBG now from a year uh, from a year ago. Kind of the different the differences with the games. Um, I guess kind of like what's what's the biggest differences you have you guys have spotted with PUBG after playing it over a year? It's not as crap. But it's still crap, though. Yeah, it's still crap. But it's like nicer, <laughs> polished crap. It's fun. <laughs> it smells nicer. Just looks a little yeah. nicer in there. Well, okay. So to be fair with Blue Hole, hmm. I think they're going in the right direction with Bikendi. I thought Bikendi's a really, really good map. Um, yeah. I like what they're doing with the game now. The lighting looks really nice. I, I think they've improved a ton from where it started. Uh, I still wish that they would be like PUBG Mobile and make it more fun. Yeah. Because PUBG Mobile, you know, Tencent, they do stuff right. And I wish Blue Hole would learn from that, but they don't want to yeah. listen. So, yeah, you know. Firstly, I just wish they would, like, have more community voting where, like, the community could vote on what they want. Because mm. I think if PUBG were to listen to the community more, they would do a lot better. And Blue Hole just yeah. wants to do their own thing. Well, you know. They've but created a lot I like of games. the direction they're going right now with the candy and all that. I think it's a cool map. I'm having a good time with PUBG. It definitely, yeah, runs a lot nicer, especially on the candy. Like, I've noticed whenever they come out with a new map, except for Miramar, um, whenever they come out with a new map, it always seems to run better, like, every time, though. Well, it's because Miramar was built from the ground up, like, their first one. Yeah, true, which was a massive disappointment. God, that map was <laughs> I don't think I've ever played a trash, like, a map that was as trash, like, on any other game, ever. I think Miramar, like, takes uh, takes the cake when it comes to trash maps in not the good. history of maps. Sandhawk, McKendy, and Erangel are good maps. Yeah. Well, Sandhawk's really good for when you're wanting to play close quarters, quick, yeah, quick games. Mm -hmm. But Vikendi's a... I would say Vikendi is a good... Um, it's a, it's a good uh, map to play when you're getting tired of just playing Erangel. Like when you're just tired of seeing green forest or especially the sunset. When you're tired of playing all of that, it's a good like switch See, for something that's similar. I wish similar. they would have taken out a Fortnite's book where they just keep building on the same map that they use. I like That'd be what, interesting. I like what they do with Fortnite where they just keep adding on to the same map mm -hmm. and they keep building it up more. Because Erangel was just yeah. a perfect great map. Why not just keep adding on to it and yeah. making it cool? I mean, something I do have to hand off to them is they definitely know how to capture like an audience when it comes to um, giving them enough content to keep people entertained. That's something sure. I've noticed that Fortnite's been really good at compared to compared to PUBG. Um, actually, one thing I noticed was uh, I was watching a video that we did uh, a while back or that I did, and it was on the new vaulting system. I noticed are you, you're not able to roll over cars, huh? right but uh, they showed it in the trailer i just noticed a couple days ago when i watched that in the sure. yeah in the trailer they show the I trailer you were, over cars you were able to roll over cars like on the hood right yeah can you do that or no i oh. thought you could yeah no i don't think you can because i remember watching the video and you you were able to do like a front flip over walls and then roll over like the hood of a car yeah, and i was like oh that looks sick and i was like wait a second you can't even do that in the actual game hey hey can roll though. Oh man, this game's freaking sick. Right. That is actually that's true. Okay, that's that's the whole reason why I even bought the game in the first place. Can roll. How about you? And yeah. <laughs> so that's what's uh, important shoot. to them. All right, Fortnite, suck on that, okay? We got yeah, rolling right cans. We got, right. rolling cans. <laughs> we got rolling cans. In <laughs> Russia, rolling cans just roll. Shut up. 
such thing. All right. Well, that's all the topics we actually had for the uh, podcast. But did you guys have any anything else to say? Any of the info you guys had that you want to bring up to the podcast? Anything heavy on your hearts you want to bring forward? Good. Discuss it now. Brother Nathan. Brother Nathan. <laughs> no, I'm good. That's it. All righty. Well, thank you guys for listening or watching the podcast. I really appreciate it. Uh, we're going to be posting videos weekly, so make sure you check out our channel or our Facebook page for those new videos. So we don't have dedicated Great days on when the videos will come out, but like I said, it is weekly. So uh, thank you for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Was that Wheezy? <laughs> you just said weekly, so I started Wheezy laughing. <laughs> That's true. But, alright, well, thanks for watching, guys, and listening. Uh, hype, thanks for joining the podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, we'll see you guys. Take care. Bye. Bye.